the Constitution protects my freedom of speech. We can all agree on that. And part of that free speech is speaking whatever language I want to. So talking about the cultural assimilation, you're saying that um, we should assimilate to a shared language, but what if I, a US-born citizen, does not want to speak English? Well, if you don't speak English, chances are you wouldn't be able to read the First Amendment, so I'd be surprised if you would know about that right in the first place. There's a, a premise that a society has to have. The Constitution didn't spring into existence in thin air. It was dropped down into Thomas Jefferson's lap. He said, good, finally, we've got a country. We have a country because before anything else existed, I got this peach of parchment called the Constitution. That's not what happened. What happened is that our system of government and our Constitution and all of these institutions that came out of our Constitution developed out of a time and a specific culture. We inherited them not from 10 years before it was written, not from 20 years before it was written, but from the ages and ages before it was written. It is part of the inheritance of our culture. These are the premises of our culture. If one is to come in and say, I reject all of the things that undergird our Constitution, and in this very specific example, that includes the English language, then one is to say, I reject the Constitution itself. You cannot cut yourself off from the culture that has made you. You can do it for a very short period of time, and it ends in the political madness that we're seeing around us today. Sure. Uh, so what you're basically saying is rejecting English is rejecting the Constitution. I'm saying rejecting a common culture in the United States renders the Constitution meaningless. In the case of the English language, it literally renders it meaningless. You wouldn't be able to read it. What if someone translated for me? <laughs> I'm, I'm a little skeptical of that translator. Obviously. We have, we have, I speak multiple languages. I assume people in this room speak multiple languages. I love reading literature in other languages. I like going to certain bakeries and speaking in French or speaking in Italian. That's a wonderful thing. The question is, how do we conduct ourselves as a country? How do we conduct our systems of government? How do we conduct diplomacy? How do we conduct the law? Beyond just the question of language, which is really a symbol of so many other cultural questions, what do we have in common? If we don't have a shared, we, we've already established that American is not a particular ethnicity. American is not a particular race. There have been so many different races and ethnicities that have been involved in the settling, founding, and establishment of the country. So if if it's not a race, if it's not an ethnicity, and if we don't have a shared language, and if we don't have a shared culture, and if we don't have shared food, and if we don't have shared clothing, and if we don't have shared music, and if we don't have shared movies, and if we don't have shared anything, then what makes us American? <laughs>